Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 2 of Direwolf20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles Let's Play series. I like this door. Check out this door. How cool is that? You can just open this door all day long. Uh, so between episodes I did a little terraforming. A little terraforming. You can see I've got a lovely little uh, farm area set up here. I found some rice, just like right around somewhere here-ish. Look, there's some even. Um, and I just set it up to, to grow some rice. Uh, so that's where we're at, right? Um, been harvesting these 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 uh, fruits that grow on trees nearby, which has been super helpful, by the way. Um, because, yeah, super duper helpful, honestly. Super duper duper helpful. I might at some point pick up all these raspberry bushes and move them over. I want to see how hard it is to make a watering can, actually. Uh, that doesn't look terrible. It needs a copper plate, but I think we can get a hammer for that. So that might not be too far off. Um, and I also did a whole bunch of mining because uh, I had to basically do something where I couldn't record for an hour or two. Um, the, you know, like background noise and that kind of problem. So I basically just mined and mined and mined and mined and mined and mined. And uh, my backpack was super helpful with that because it held up pretty good. So here's my miscellaneous junk slash blocks chest. And here's all my resources that I collected while mining. You can see I have a healthy amount of ores that I got, some coal, even found some lapis. I found diamond, I found gold, I found redstone, and a few other things down there. Uh, unfortunately, my pick was not powerful enough to get those things. But, you know, clearly got a bunch of good stuff. So that's cool. Lithium and magnesium and bauxite and platinum and nickel and osmium and peridots and garnets and rubies oh my all kinds of good stuff also found these uninspected minerals from the rock hounding mod chemistry there's some right here too which i purposely haven't dug up yet because i'm not exactly sure what their deal is um i mean it's uninspected i assume that i mine it and then inspect it but it's also possible that i'm supposed to inspect it before i mine it i don't know i guess we'll find out uh so that's that's a thing right um also, smelted some copper because that was a quest. It was the very next quest, as a matter of fact. Um, so, hey, look at that giant, giant book. Did that thing get bigger or is it me? Um, so that was the next quest down here, down this path. So whatever this all leads to um, is, is where we went. I didn't find Kirby. I thought I might explore that, uh, that astral sorcery temple thing real quick on camera. And then we could see if we find Kirby in there. I mean, they said that Kirby might be found in natural sorcery ruins, and I mean, I just happened to be spawned right next to one, so... I mean, that's that's a pretty big win right there for me. So let's see, what do we got going on up here? Standard stuff. Just checking to see if there's, like, anything else in here. Typically what you find um, is that under here, there's, um, you know, your, your standard actual... Ow, what's... Ow, 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 ow. I should probably be a little bit more careful. Hello, bad guy. Nice to meet you. Where'd you hide out at? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. These guys hurt, dude, let me tell you. Gotcha. Gotcha. Take that. I found some cherry bombs. <laughs> cool. Um, and some raspberries, which are saturating. Did you just be able to eat these without, um... Like, without, without having to pull all the way. So let's see what we got in here. We got enderpearl, silver ingots, peas, constellation paper, nickel. That's cool. Baklava. Baklava. That's cool. Man of steel. I'm going to leave this stuff in here until I get to astral sorcery. Because I'm not there yet. Diamond nugget. Ooh, lettuce, rye. Ooh, a coin. I'll take that. Why not? But I'll leave most of this stuff here. Glowstone, I feel like, might be really nice to have early on. Some of this stuff, I'll... You know what? I'm going to take all this stuff. I'm taking all that stuff. Should I take all this stuff? I feel like I should. I'll leave the Astral Sorcery-related stuff. How's that sound? Until I get to Astral Sorcery. And hey, look who's... Look at the nighttime. Gotta run. Baklava. Hooray! Eaten, assisted in adding hearts. Isn't that like a command I can run to see how many more foods I have to eat before I get those hearts? But I'll get a bonus heart soon. Probably. Hooray! And into the room I go. So the top chest here is all crop-related things. Actually, those seeds... 
should go right back into my farm. Unfortunately, the rice recipe is not standard. So um, basically, there's no, there's no, there's no simple. We can make rice cakes by smelting it. They don't look terribly good, but I guess is it about the same? It looks like it's the same. It makes no difference aside from the fact that it'll be like another approach, right? So there's a chef's workshop that will allow me to make a bunch of things. Um, oh boy, look at that. Um, oh, hey, uh, Alchemistry is in this pack. That's cool. We might play with that mod a little bit for sure. Uh, so the standard rice to rice dough recipe is not in here. However, we can get rice dough if we find a potato, which I've not yet found, but that'll get me rice dough, uh, which then I can do raw rice bread with. And that can be smelted into rice bread. So that's that's a way to, to, make, to make food. Uh, so let's put all these resources in here that we just got. Um, cause they are technically resources and up here can be the crops and down here is my miscellaneous junk. Cool. Cool. Uh, so we've got our copper quest complete, which is exciting to me because it means that we're now ready to progress. So no Kirby, sorry, Kirby. I'll have to look for you elsewhere. Prepared flesh, rotten flesh. How is this useful? Craft for rotten flesh to prepared flesh and we will see. All right. looks like we've got some mob hunting to do. Now, I should really make some armor, but I know what you're saying, Dire. Why don't you have armor on? Where is your armor? Where's your armor? Where's your armor, Dire Wolf? Make some armor. Um, that's how you make armor. I don't think we're making that just yet. And the same for the pickaxe, by the way. I went and looked because I'm like, can I get iron pickaxes? That's how you make a pickaxe. And for that, we're going to need some tin plates and some gas tanks and advanced crafting. So we have to get into the advanced crafting table. It looks like very quickly... And then we will be getting to make gas tanks, which can make us a blacksmith's workshop that can make us an iron pickaxe. So some of the crafts are going to be a little bit large and ridiculous. Uh, but that sounds fun. I'm down with large and ridiculous. As long as I can automate it. As long as automation isn't too far away, I'll be cool. Right? But also, remember, like, this mod, part of the part of the deal here is that it's about exploration and, and all kinds of other stuff. You know what I should have is a shield. That's what I should really be having. Run away! Brave Sir Robin, run away. Can I make a shield? <laughs> Please don't tell me a shield is ridiculous. It's not, it's a regular old recipe. I can do that. I've got some wood. I can do the shield. Oh great, and now it's raining? Got you. Got you. All right. Health regenerates a little bit slowly in this pack, I just gotta say. Um, I guess that's why I was given one of these. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I have a decent amount of food, so that's nice for us. Um, and I do like this AIOT. I mean, it's not that it's the first mod pack I've ever had it in, but it's it sure is nice. What? Where? Where? What? Where was he? Was that an invisible monster, or was it just me? All right. <laughs> Be prepared for a lot of dire deaths. Um, but there's a benefit. There's there's a thing that I haven't done yet. Also, because I was waiting to do it on camera with you guys, um, which I'll show you in a moment here. A, I need to find... Oh, boy, creeper. Is that one of those creepers that runs? That, do, do all creepers run? Good question. I don't know the answer to. I'm just going to stay away from him. Keep your distance from the creeper that might be a runner. All right. Into the house we go. Hiding. Yay for saturating food. If I could if I could get the three types of berries from Natura, that would be a pretty decent food source. I'm just saying. That's pretty cool. Um where was I at now? Yes. Foods and stuff, right? Alright, let's adventure out into this world. Is this like the first time I've used a shield in a let's play? I mean probably not, but maybe. Ow. That's right. Did you see that pro that pro move right there? I totally did that on purpose. Whoa! Did that spider just spider web up that dude? And look at that look at that skeleton all the way over there sniping me from a million miles away. That is awesome right there. Did you see that? That spider like totally webbed up that dude. That was crazy. 
I've never seen a spider do that before. But I love it. Ouch. Ouch. Rip. Ripperoni. At least I died. Oh boy, look at that creeper. Eep. Running away. Running away. <laughs> Maybe adventure time is not, not for now. Not until I get some better armor. I did, like a fool, I put this on hard mode, right? Alright, there we go. Now we're cooking. Like a fool. I came out here to find zombies, and all I'm finding is skeletons and creepers. I just want a little bit of zombie flesh. Is that too much to ask for? Is it? Oh boy, this night is dangerous. Why am I even out here right now? Please. Somebody explain, what did I do? Check out this, like, super sniper. He just, like, he's got a machine gun arrow. Look at it. It's, it's literally a machine gun arrow. Luckily, I've noticed that if you get close to them, they don't try and shoot you. They try and use whatever sword they've got. So that's a thing. Look, more only skeletons and creepers. Just a zombie. I just want a zombie. They're at least easy to kill. Run away! Whoa! Baby zombie! Skeleton. Keep him in the corner. Come on. Come on. You can do this. Oh! I totally had it. I totally thought I had it. Did you see him? That guy's a monster. Literally. Literally a monster and figuratively. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Welcome to episode two, where we do a lot of corpse runs, apparently. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it a, call it a night. No, no more hunting mobs until we have a little bit better control. Why did I choose hard mode? What is, is that a spider on top of a spider? What is that? I don't even want to know what that is. Okay, got my stuff. Everybody's cool now. Let's do something other than look for skeletons and zombies. And oh my goodness, that was crazy. Oh my goodness. Um, totally need better food though. Totally need better food. Let's progress to the point. Hey, I got I got some humanoid flesh, so that's cool. Totally feel like eating. That's a good time, right? I'm putting it in my food chest. Don't don't look at me like that. It's a food. It's a food. Depending on a certain point of view. Hey, look, I got a I got a head though, so that's cool. All right, all organized again. So forget that quest. Ain't gonna happen. Uh, so what we could do is clay. Where are the sheeps? Ooh. Where are the sheeps? I haven't seen any sheep. Did anybody see any sheep? Um, and then uh, Night of the Living Dead. That's, that's a good time. Apple trees. To collect apples, you need to plant a few apple trees. Collect some saplings and check your inventory. There should be some apples. So two apple saplings. Did I? Oh, I literally have two apple saplings. Nice. Or two apples, at least. Uh, so that should be cool. Hooray! Uh, pear, avocado, mango... Uh, I don't know, pear? Sure, why not? You can go up there as a to-do list item. Sweet. Looking for seeds. The most seeds are obtained by breaking or sifting grass sifter, but wild rice will occasionally spawn in the world near water. Collect and plant this seed. Alright, cool. Um, okay, cool. That's, that's a thing. Let's, I, I really would like to get more towards this area, though, because I think that would be cool. Handsaw, more efficiency, uh, upgrades, copper, and, and resource stuff. I think that might be cool. Down here is sifting for seeds and stuff. Okay. Uh, vanilla cobblestone. Oh. So that's like... Is that not even a thing? I haven't found any cobble, to be fair. I've not found any cobble at all. So that could totally be a thing. Handsaw. In woodworking and carpentry, handsaws are used to cut pieces of wood into different planks or shapes. The handsaw is a bit like a tenon saw, but with a flat, sharp edge. Okay. Uh, so a saw. I'm assuming all the recipes are pretty similar, right? So what I'm going to do... Three. Is get this saw, and I can only assume that this is going to make it so I can get better stuffs. In terms of saw, like does that, there you go. Okay, cool. That's neat. All right, I like that. Uh, so claim those rewards. That's good times. Uh, this unique tool is used to convert underground biome stone types to vanilla stone. Oh, okay. 
So a chisel from this artisan dude. Okay, so that's gonna be you and these two. Cool. So what do I do? It doesn't have a UI. It, uh, it doesn't do that. So I assume I combine you in some way. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, cool. Okay. I like that. I like that. Vanilla cobblestone, get ten of them. Okay. That's cool. That underground biomes thing is neat. I've 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 progressed to the Stone Age. Hooray! Alright. Uh and vanilla clean stone. Use your chisel to convert any type of clean stone to vanilla clean stone. Uh that would be like chalk, I presume. Yes? Yes. Chalk is I uh assume how we get that. Yep. Quest complete. Booyah. Okay. I'm done with that. Who wants to see a uh, 9x9 nine nine made out of andesite cobble? Might be a thing that happens pretty soon. I'm just saying it might happen. I'm just saying it might happen. You know, who am I to, who am I to tell what's going to happen in the future? I don't know. But it's possible. Alright, so that's not too bad. Mortar and pestle. Uh, that's neat. What uh what were the quests up here by the way? Just just ten of any kind of wood, I presume. Or does it have to be jungle wood? Plank wood. Yep, nope, plank wood is cool. Hooray! More efficiency! And uh, am I correct in thinking this? There you go. Quests complete. Nice. Alright, so uh dark oak. Ooh, which of these do you think I might want? Dark oak, maybe? Or jungle would be cool. Jungle might be cool, because that'll get me uh, some stuff occasionally, right? Jungles are usually harder to find than anything else, I think. Ooh, a rare loot bag, copper, framed fence from Block Craftery, or let's go with the rare loot bag. I like that. I'll roll the dice. I'll roll the dice on having a bit of luck today. What do you think, guys? Let's see how lucky I'm going to be in this shenanigans mod pack. Well, not that lucky. I got another quartz plate from more plates. All right, that wasn't all that exciting. It might be exciting. I'm just assuming it's not. All right, so continuing along, let's do mortar and pistols. So that's going to need a little bit of flint. Um, let's just figure out what all this stuff is about. I could have sworn I had some flint at some point. I mean, I've mined a lot of gravel, so maybe the gravel recipe's in? Yeah, it is. Nice. That's what's up. That's what's up. Quest complete. Cool. And we get a common loot bag. Which has some stuff in it. Hey, cool. Hey, you know what? A melon seed ain't a bad idea. I'll take that. How about right there, buddy? A seedy place. Okay. And a forest queen. That's that's cool. We got a forest queen. All right. How to bone meal? Uh, bone meal out of bones with the mortar and pestle. I know I've found bones because all I can find is skeletons. Right. That's all I can find. And speaking of bone meal, let's go grow our watermelons, because having more food is always a nice thing. I should probably expand this farm to be more than just rice at some point, and I should also probably not have it right outside my door, but, you know, stuff and things. Not much I can do about it. Um, yeah, you're going to stay down here, buddy. Okay, cool. So just learning some of the basic stuff. Black Lotus. I know where one is. There's one right out here. There is a black lotus. Hey, should we open up journey map and find out how many times I've died? Aww. Not that bad. I thought it was going to be worse. Uh, there's a black lotus like right out here. I saw it every time I died, which was a lot because I died a lot because death. That's what this pack is going to be, isn't it? <laughs> there's one. Boop. Thank you. Hey, that got me cactus as a quest reward. That's cool. I should start growing that. I'm not sure why I should start growing that, uh, but it does feel like a smart idea, right? Hey, is this in here? No snad. Good to know. 
Good to know. Okay, so the, the cactus quest rewards can chill over there for growth purposes. And then this guy comes up here and let's eat that sausage. Mmm, deliciousness. All right, nice. So hey, we knocked out some quests real quick. Copper upgrades and a needle. And that's going to lead to string and mesh and fishing nets and a sleeping bag. That's kind of cool. And copper is going to lead to, ooh, armor. Yes, we want armor. That's 100% a thing we need. So copper is going to lead to hammer time. Um, and then watering cans. And that's cool. Yes, I want all of those things. So hammer time, copper, let's do the thing. Copper, tools, 100% a thing that I'm going to want to do. Um... Right, so do we see those here or do I just have to do them by hand? Nope, there they are. So a pickaxe, right? And then you also wanted a shovel and a sword. That's cool by me, buddy. That is cool by me. And I'm assuming we don't have an AIOT version of those, right? Sweet, and I got another pickaxe. Unbreaking two, well that's neat. That's super cool. That does nine hearts of damage, by the way, and this does five. But this guy recharges faster, so I'm going to call him a win. Cool. Um, shift for info. Mining level iron, mining level iron. So copper has the same mining level and mining speed and far less durability than my AIOT, right? And we don't have an AI, AIOT that is copper. So, eh. I don't know about those. I don't know about these tools. But you are nice for unbreaking, for sure. And Venom I'm going to put away, because, well, I mean, Venom's kind of cool. But yeah. All right, so with that done, though, the next thing we need is this needle. Artesian's Copper Needle. Copper Needle. Looks pretty straightforward. Just need a little piece of string. Okay, Mouse Tweaks is in here, but I have to reverse the scroll wheel option, because I always do the opposite of what the default is. Cool. So that's done, right? And that's cool. Hooray! Claim them rewards. Nice. Okay, cool. And that leads to hammer time. All right, Artesian's Copper Hammer. Um, so in here it says iron, but Artesian's Copper Hammer is what this quest has me doing. So I guess we'll do that, right? And that's going to allow me to hammer out some plates of which I need four, and I assume that it's two per hammer, right? Yeah, so we need more copper for sure, right? Do I have more copper? I might have gotten more. Yes, I did. Now, I assume that there's nothing I can do to pulverize this anytime soon, right? Or doubling is probably a little ways off. I mean, there's the quartz grindstone, but that only gives you a 90% chance of more copper. And that, <laughs> that's not happening. All right. So <laughs> no sneaky, no sneaking dire, no being sneaky. Absolutely not. All right. We'll be back in a minute after I smelt two stacks of copper. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, did a little bit of world exploration for a minute there so that I could find uh, the cotton seeds that I need and string. So real quick, just ran around the world. Found, found what I need, and we're good to go here. Nice. All right, cool. So with that taken care of, I can get a watering can and I can get armor. So that's what's up. So first off, we need four iron plates. So I smelted up my iron, and while I was at it, I smelted up some or er, copper. And I, while I was at it, uh, smelted up some iron and rearranged a few things here. So that takes care of that quest, which is cool. Which earns me a bucket. Booyah! How do you make buckets? Oh, yeah, that's a lot of work. I need silicon from Project Red to make a bucket. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's how you make a bucket? Don't lose the bucket, Dyer. Don't lose the bucket, Dyer. That is a very valuable bucket. We do not. No, no, do not lose that. All right, cool. Uh, so that's cool. First mining hammer. Ooh, from Thermal Foundation. Yes, yes. We want one of those for mining with. Absolutely. Uh, we can also get copper chests, which is a good time, which I might be able to get iron chest. Let's see. What would be uh, an iron chest upgrade? Just needs iron plates and wood casings. Ooh, that, that makes me wonder if there's crates. Is there any chance in the world that crates are going to be like the, like the like at all available to me right now? Right? Extremely unlikely. 
that's not too bad. And Yuri played though. So we do need to get um, an atomic resonator, which is another advanced crafting. St <sighs> lots of lots of advanced crafting in this pack. This is what I'm learning. Boy, I, uh, I'm a little worried about the automation possibilities if there's so many advanced crafting recipes, but hopefully there's not and it won't be too bad. We'll find out though. Um, I know that, um, okay, refined storage. There is refined avaricia. So that's a cool thing. So there's refined storage, which by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but like the last six series in a row that I've done have all been applied energistic. So I'm totally gonna go for refined storage in this one, um, just because I can. Um, and that's not too bad of a recipe, right? That's not too bad. All right, so that's cool. All right, so that's not bad. At least I can get some armor going on here, right? But it's a lot of copper. So, why don't I do this? Why don't I make the hammer, right? Where's where's the tinker's hammer, or the thermal hammer? There they are. Bronze hammers, copper hammers. Okay, cool. Let's totally get that. Then we can mine for copper. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dude, any mod pack that says, hey, guess what? We're giving you, yeah, more copper plates, please. Chicken dinner sounds great, but I'm, I hesitate to say I'm doing okay with food, but I've got a lot of bad food. Does that make sense? Like all this food is terrible and there's no saturation to it and I have to eat it all the time. I wonder if there's like one of those hunger charm things. I hope, I hope that mod is in the pack. I did check for a time in a bottle by the way. I did look, I did look, I did look. Uh, sleep charm, part of it. yeah, that one's it. Gluttony charm, that's what, oh my goodness, that's things. That's some Batania string. That's ancient dust, which can be made in a chemical combiner. Okie dokie then. Starlight compound, liquid starlight cells. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Kind of excited though. Molten and <laughs> Little interested. I'm just a little bit interested in what this pack has in store for me. I, I, I sense it could either be really fun I feel I'm hope I'm gonna go with really fun. I'm gonna go like it's gonna be really crazy. Um, but before we mine, let's do a couple things just to get us into a good position for this pack, right? Uh, ranged weapons. Um, I don't know if we want to. Ooh, torch arrows, really? That's cool. Extra alchemy arrow, of freezing arrow, of gravity. That's interesting. That's cool. Extra alchemy. What mod is that? What is extra alchemy? Look at all these uh, arrows. That's cool. Arrow of gravity? Neat. Okay, that's cool. That's neat. Arrow of gravity. Huh, I have no idea what those potion effects do and I'm kind of intrigued. String mesh, yeah. Uh, you want two string mesh? Okay. Let's see what's involved in making you. Uh, just a bunch of string. So can I turn cotton into string? That's the real question. Yes. Yes, I can. Cotton for days. So two string mesh will get me going. Cool. Claim those rewards. Bread is welcome. Fishing nets can be thrown at enemies and friends and can be placed in order to catch fish and more. Cool. All right. Fishing net. Fishing net. Okay, so that looks doable. Fisherman, let's try it. That's cool. Oh, hello. I don't get it. Did I throw it? Did I just destroy my fishing net? It's possible that I did. I 100% destroyed that fishing net. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I'll play with it, I'll figure it out. I don't know, that's cool. But hey, we got two string mesh back, so I can make another one if I need. Woven cloth, I'm all about that. Uh, Cause I see what's, there's a reason I'm doing this and you'll see why in a minute. Um, cool. Oh, you want two of those? Come on, chief. So you're gonna want two of these, AKA lots and lots of string, but that gets me white carpet for some reason. Uh, but a sleeping bag, sleeping mat. Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, I need leather for that. But three white carpets, so there's a reason for that. 
Uh, I, I know there's cows outside. What are the chances I can survive a quick run to where there are cows? Hello, spider. I mean, to be fair, I do have, at this point, a better sword than I did at the beginning of the episode. Right? So, I got that going for me. <gasps> a zombie! Yay! Hey, you're supposed to be bounced back when I hit you? Ow. I appreciate the hunger three when I just complained about my lack of food. But there's the cows I was after, right? Please, ow. Ow! Running away from my life! Run for your- Oh! I hit the ground? That wasn't that hard. <laughs> that wasn't that hard. You know, we, we had to die at least once more in this episode. That's the way it works. That's the way things work, dudes. Alright, did I get a- I got a leather. I'm down with that. And I got some- some nice looking beef. Raw prime beef. That's what's up. That's a hundred percent what's up. I don't know what was hitting me, but I am running, running back to my base. See, I planted some of the string that I got out in the world in, in between recording segments there. Let's just eat a stupid amount of food. Just chowing down. If I have to eat this much, you guys have to watch it. It's the rules. I don't make the rules, guys. I don't make them. It's just what's up. All right, so sleeping mat. Woohoo! You know what that means? In lieu of bed, I can just do this, can't I? Oh yeah. Look at all those graves. And look, it's daytime! Oh, that's cool. Oh! Oh! Right click to toggle. Spawn point off. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I don't think I need to adjust my spawn point. But there is one more thing we can do. Uh, it's this one. Set home? I'm allowed to set home. And I get, I get cooked chicken for that. I assume it's that, right? Now what's the deal with slash home? Stand still for five seconds. Okay, that's cool. Is there a cooldown on how often I can use that? Five minutes. Okay, fair enough. All right, so I think next steps. Uh, let's go find more I uh, copper so I can make copper armor so that I can not die in two hits from bad guys out there, which are, the monsters are definitely ramped up. I mean, aside from the fact that I put it on uh, hard mode, right? Like the monsters are 100% ramped up and uh, more difficult than I'm used to, uh, which is fine. I'm not complaining, nothing wrong with that. Uh, I wanna say this is about the Y level to find copper on. So I'm gonna go mining, cool. All right, we'll come back next episode. Uh, we'll do some good time stuff. Um, and see what this mod pack is really all about. Because we're we're rapidly progressing through some of the other quests to get me on my feet, which is good, right? Need armor, need a watering can. There's clearly some things up here to do. And then at some point, I suspect we're going to branch out and we're going to decide, you know, what we're going to want to focus on. And as we get to the end of some of these quest lines, it'll it'll break into different mods, right? Protectors of Earth. I'm wondering what that packs or what that's all about. I have no idea, but it looks cool, right? All kinds of good stuff. Uh, I probably am going to want to do a kitchen thing because in looking for food that's not terrible for me, uh, I've done a really bad job of finding any. See, like cooked chicken, right? I can find chickens. They only give one ham hock thingy. So that's that's a big sad right there, right? So we're going to want better than that. So for now, though, Tony signing off. Hope you enjoyed the uh, episode. See, I told you it would be iron up here or copper up here. Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, that's so beautiful. The auto magnet is the best part of this pack. All right, that was my sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Yay, more copper. Uh, we'll come back next time, do more fun stuff. Uh, I'm enjoying the pack so far. Hope you guys are too. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. After two episodes of hilarity and deaths, uh, are you having a good time with this pack so far? What are your thoughts? All right, one way or another. All right, guys, take it easy.